Welcome back to another video. I finally am filming for a haul. I went absolutely crazy during the sale. I'm a Rouge member. I spend a ton. But the good thing is I do, I am pretty good about not buying throughout the year. And I really do stock up on a lot of stuff that I repeat use and my favorites i also got a couple new things that i wanted to try this is the perfect time and honestly i saved about 200 honestly like 250 dollars total so far i've ordered about 800 dollars worth only i only have three of the boxes here but i have i think three more orders coming which is really embarrassing but it has a chokehold on me i literally just lay in bed and put an order in and then I'll do one or two things at a time and then I'll remember something later. So I have to place a new order. <laughs> so no judgment here, but I have been saving for this and been waiting for this sale like pretty much all year. I bought a little bit in April and I think I, I don't, oh, I didn't place any Sephora orders since April. Um, I did shop at Ulta. A couple times but that was it uh, because they were having sales and deals like that so we're gonna just get into it it's the first time unboxing with you guys so thanks so much for watching and if I'm hunching over it's because I'm like sitting there's no backrest I do need my coffee though the smallest and then just keep trying to consolidate I'm gonna probably put everything into the big box all that just got my handy dandy box cutter First thing is the Summer Fridays. I've actually never tried their lip butter bombs, but that enticing factor of the cherry flavor or scent being sold out got to me. So I went on the notify me list and it came back in stock during the sale, thankfully. So here it is out of its box. It's a stunning packaging, super sleek. Squeeze that out. Do a little swatch for you guys. Oh, it's really thick. Seems hydrating. Just a gorgeous color. It's gonna be perfect if I don't wanna go through like lip liner and all my, the nude. Um, I came with two samples that I picked, the Ceramide and Skin Barrier Cream. Make sure to get your two samples with each order. I forget sometimes, and sometimes I'm just like so lazy, but the samples are good, and they can come in handy when you're traveling or you want to test out new things. So I got this Spice Bomb Infrared Victor Rolf. It's a little bit heavier. Oh my gosh, I just keep getting stuff from me, which is not good. Not good at all. Oh my gosh, this is a fun one. How many goodies are in there? Oh, let's get right into it. Okay, so I got this uh, Charlotte Tilbury, the matte beauty blush wand in Pillow Talk. I have had the original, like that really shimmery one for over three years. I threw it out because it's so messy and so old stunning like muted mauve color what i've been waiting for the tatcha dewy skin cream the purple bottle i got it in the gratitude cream size i get it every time there is a sephora savings vib sale it's my favorite moisturizer ever um i actually ordered the essence one in the white colored bottles or their collection so i'm excited to try that and that will i ordered that last night so it's not here um, but love the gratitude side such good savings I got this daily brush cleaner spray because I've been really bad about washing my makeup brushes and I just want to be able to like have some you know sanitizing spray on hand every time I use it and then just like brush it off on a tissue so I liked the bottle size and it was a really good deal as promised so cute packaging yeah I don't think I'm feeling oh wow yeah that's super nice 
it feels really good. That's gonna feel super hydrating, especially if you do your makeup after you do skincare a little bit later, so it'll rehydrate your face. Next up, I got a lot of lip products. First off, I've got Pillow Talk Matte Revolution, uh, just in the actual Pillow Talk shade, the original. Because I actually have never bought this in the full size. And it's just such a beautiful mauve neutral pink. And I'm really obsessed with neutrals right now and nude um, lips. So I wanted to try that. And then I got the Kim KW uh, Hot Lips. I've been wanting this since last year. Sorry, I'm shaking. Oh no, shaking so bad. Yeah, so I've wanted that since last year. Just didn't, buy the, um, just didn't pull the trigger on that. I get this every Sephora savings event, but I actually got like five in April, so I still have a ton of them. So Aqua Resist Color Pencil in Graphite, and that's what I'm using right now. I like a thick liner. I have smaller eyes, and it really makes it a little bit pop and look a little, tiny bit bigger. So love that. You're joking. Is this how small the milk makeup is? I, I wanted the regular size. It's super small. What the heck? Oh my gosh, it's so cute though. But it's a mini. What the heck? I got this shade in Blaze. It's one of the darker shades. And then I got a Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. Just the one, the Berry Original, because I haven't had one of these in a while. And then I had the, I think the Grape one and Mango, and they were both like really old from 2019. So I decluttered a lot. I was really proud of myself. Got rid of palettes, lip products. And it's such a shame because I buy so much at these Sephora savings events and all that. And then I want to save my products because it's like I just spent a bubble on it and I don't want to just throw it on my face. But this year I am not going to do that. I need to use up the my hard earned money spent on products. So I need to actually use it right away. And then I got a Leaf Refi lip gloss. Uh, nothing new here. I actually still have half of the last one I bought. Plus clear lip gloss. And it's super hydrating. So I throw that on like a lip balm all the time. So that'll be good to have that in stock. And then this is my favorite shade in the Kosas uh, Concealer in Revealer 3.2. Just a repeat, I use it every day. It's a stunning coral shade. And then this is a repeat exfoliating face wash from Clarins that I buy every time I can. I buy six, about six or seven a year because my husband and I both use it. Uh, my mother-in-law uses it. My mom uses it. So I just got one because I still have four actually. But I think I am going to put one in the guest bedroom shower because that would be really nice. A nice tree. It just smells so good. It's an orange extract. It has got little beads and it's not harsh on the face. You can use it once a day, every day. It's awesome. We are rolling through this. What I have been... Waiting for travel perfume set. Uh, I've only ever had the original Bomb Bomb Brazilian Crush scent, but I want to smell all the others. So this will be good. I also got the Touchland Power Mist hand sanitizers, sleek packaging. I want to throw one in my office, the car, all my purses. So this will be good just to throw one in. And then this is a new purchase for me, the Nude Sticks. This is a cool package. I got the blushes because I think this will be good for lip and blush and eyeshadow. Okay, there's the like uh, applicator on one end. And then I think I got in the nude. Yeah, this one's in the nude. Stunning color. I need to wipe this shit off. In the nude. Oh, it's actually really pigmented. That's gorgeous. I didn't think it was like gonna be this pigmented because it looked really light online, but Glad I got that That's gonna be so easy as for travel because you can use it for your eyes Like I said lips cheeks. 
So very versatile. In the nude is the shade I got. Cool packaging. I'm defeated, guys. Like, it's just so much stuff. Okay. And then I got for my samples that I remember to get was this Advanced Cure Lane Watery Oil. And then I got My Way by Giorgio Armani, which I love that scent. Another Nude Sticks color. And this one is Nude Buff. It's like a cooler pink. So... So I did to use those. Uh, I was influenced by Paige Lorenz and Tony Savdalis to get, oh, I can't read now. Anywhere Caffeine by Makeup Forever. Got two of them because I'm obsessed with nude lip liners. I have like 20 that I'm going through. My goal this year is to finish three completely. So that's gonna be a lot of makeup, a lot of full glam looks. And then I really wanted to try this beautiful packaging, the Fenty Butter Drop in Cinnamon. And I am obsessed because I have the original formula and I put that on every time I wanna pamper myself, which is a couple times a week. Ooh, it's just a light pudding cinnamon scent. I love it. It's such a good, if you guys are looking for a really like, not very uh, clean, buttery um, body cream, it really, this is it. This is it. Because everything else gives me headaches. It's too fragranced. This is just a very subtle cinnamon smell. And then the original barely has any scent. I don't even know how to explain the other one. Fresh and not floral, but warm and floral. But just a, just of the most subtle amount, like you can't even smell it, but it feels so good. I'll put some on my hands because they're pretty dry right now. It's just super easy, and it's really easy to like glides on the skin, like. It's not like the Nivea one that's like super thick and it's hard to rub in. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm obsessed. I hope that stays online, is sold for a while because I think I need to get another one. <laughs> See, every time I find something I love, I need multiple, two or three. Okay, so that completes the haul. For now, I, like I said, I have three more boxes coming, so I will continue on in a part two. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you got any of the same things or if you have any other recommendations. Right now, I have in my cart, which I'm not gonna pull the trigger, I told myself no more, is that amp, uh, Hourglass Ambient a bronzer, like the three in there. So the darkest shade, uh, I really want it because it's just like such gorgeous bronzers. But I don't know if I'm going to actually purchase it because um, I have so much stuff and I, I need to use it. So again, thank you so much for watching and happy shopping and happy holidays. Bye.